Howdy everyone, it is General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for this video, we are going to be uh, revisiting the secret messages in uh, the cutscenes, Easter Egg in Halo 3. So, uh, this is like many years ago, like, I don't remember how many years, but a long time ago, Nowise10 posted a video about this where he covered one of the cutscenes where this Easter Egg appears in. Uh, and basically, during the cutscenes, it happens behind the scenes, you actually can't see it without modding the cutscene to fly around. Uh, but there's a secret message hidden in every cutscene where the um, the bridge of a UNSC ship is shown. Like here, when Lord Hood is um, talking on the screen, he's actually in a room somewhere in the, in the map. So we are going to use a mod to get into that uh, room and take a look at the cutscene. So... Basically, with this video, like I said, the old video covered just one cutscene, but we're going to show you all the times they appear, uh, actually. So, starting with Crow's Nest, uh, here in this room, uh, this is where Lord Hood is, and as you can see, this is uh, the interior of some UNSC ship that he's on. Now, let's uh, look around. So, there's a lot of computer screens here and everything, but the actual cutscene appears right here on this panel in the middle of the room and it's right here on the console and if you look closely it has a little message it says coded message WJ 112 I think or F12 and then it says illicit easter egg reported message as follows Michael Wu don't like it so that's basically the uh, the secret message <laughs> it's uh, just a little, little small easter egg that one of the developers uh, through in the, uh, in the cutscene that uh, nobody else would normally be able to see. It, um, it never appears at a viewable angle or, or close enough in the cutscene that you can see it without modding. But we have to use a mod to be able to see it. Now over here on this other side, just a little fun fact here, it's actually, um, this part of the room is actually mirrored. So here, the message is the same, but it's just backwards because it's as you can see, it's actually mirrored the texture here. So, yeah, this is the one on Crow's Nest, which happens when Lord Hood talks. Uh, there is actually one more. The next mission where Lord Hood actually appears on like a screen is on a mission, uh, Sava Highway, but I was not able to get into the room where he talks on that cutscene. So, I don't know if the same Easter egg appears in that cutscene or not. But the one after that cutscene where another uh, room appears is here where Johnson is talking and during that scene he is also in another room hidden somewhere on the map where uh, he's on a UNSC ship the Ford on the Dawn but anyways let's uh, do the same thing and take a look at where the room is so the room where Johnson is is here in this room full of skyboxes uh, and it's actually a really cool room. Uh, this, you can see a lot of the skyboxes. And there's one interesting skybox here that I have never seen before, actually. Uh, I've, at least I've never seen it used before. If if it has been used before and I never noticed, then just feel free to let me know like when it's used in the Halo games. But if not, then you know it's a little cool unused skybox that you could see there. But anyway, so here's the room where Johnson talks. And uh, same thing in this room, except this time... Uh, this is the message is somewhere else. It is not on the uh, center console. It's over here, and it's the same message, uh, the illicit Easter egg reported Easter um, message. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the next room, and this room is slightly different than the first one, uh, obviously because that panel is over there. But it is otherwise very similar to the one that Lord Hood was in. Um, the, other than that, it's you know, not much different. The next one, the next time the uh, message appears, this is the uh, the one where Noah's 10 covered in his original video. But it appears in the uh, one of the last cutscenes of Halo 3. Uh, this is the part where the Ford and the Dawn is escaping, and Arbiter makes it to the bridge of the Ford and the Dawn. And up on the bridge, that is where the message appears. It's not, again, at a viewable angle, but thanks to this mod that uh, Black Diamond made, we are going to go take a look at that easter egg up close. So here's Arbiter in the bridge during that scene. And once again, we have the mirror table and everything. But the message um, actually appears over here on this console to the right. 
it says um, it says the same thing, of course, but this is where it was originally covered. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, basically it. It um, also appears on the tables here again. Uh, and it's pretty much the same way, mirrored and everything. One side is fine, the other side is mirrored. But yeah, so that's uh, basically it. And actually, if you haven't noticed, the bridge to the Fort of the Dawn is is like split in half and it's just mirrored. See that? See the console there? It's identical on both sides, but one side is just the mirror of the other side. So <laughs> they only did they only designed half of the Fort of the Dawn bridge, and then they just made took a shortcut and just <laughs> copied the other half of it and just mirrored it. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, as always, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything else you want to just check out, just uh, let me know, and I'll do my best to look into it. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.